Hi everyone, this is Leslie Williams and I'm happy to be here sharing my Fall Graphics Fairy Design Team journal. I want to also add that all images are from the premium um, Graphics Fairy site and this is a membership premium but you do yourself a big favor if you go and join because there are so many choices um, there. So, um, this is called Woodland Autumn, and it's very chunky, very, very chunky. Probably the chunkiest journal I've made, as you can see. Here's the back. And the back cover. So, I've used... Um, I've had these pieces of bark that I thought were really beautiful, and for years I kept thinking I'm going to do something with them, make something with them, um, and I never did. And so when I thought about doing a fall journal, um, I wanted something very organic and kind of different from what I usually do. So I remembered having these, and there's a piece here. Um, and then a piece here. And then on the back, this is also bark. And this is handmade paper. Or hand marbled, I guess I should say. And then on the front, um, the bark. And then I've got some more of that paper behind here. And a pheasant feather and this twig with some lichen on it. And um, that's flower and my friend the dragonfly so um the some of the bundles i used or i took from i should say um was the w winter birds and i just took bits and pieces from a lot of different ones and i used the owls and mushrooms butterfly and blooms autumn song And more butterflies, delicate butterflies. And Gothic Autumn. Some of them I only took one or two from. So, and then I think I only did one from um, maybe a couple. I mean, I guess I think there were two from the Forest Folk. And then Fall Botanicals. And since then, they've come out with um, some more uh, bundles, fall bundles, that I'd already finished by the time that happened. So, without further ado, let's go through this. So it's tied together with twine. And just open it up. And I love, love, love this owl image. I really do. And so I wanted to put him on the first page. And then I um, collaged some... Um, this was a napkin, part of a napkin. And then there's that's a teeny bit of gold leaf that I stuck on there. And then this is like some kind of eyelash trim. And this is handmade paper that I put on the side with a little wax seal. And you turn it over and with a sunflower and um, a fabric pocket that I don't remember where I got this. I didn't actually make it, but um, I've hung on to it and I thought it was good for that. And these are flowers from that I, um, I was going to say they're from my garden, but I don't think they are. I just had, I don't know where I got these. So I just stitched around, laminated and stitched around it. This is some eco dyed paper on vellum. Put that down. One of the graphics fairy images. This is. A very old book page in French. And then here is just, this is a, get squished down, but it's a paper feather that um, I watched a tutorial. It was Ruby and Pearl, I believe. Uh, Heather of Ruby and Pearl, XO. And so I had to make one of those to put in here. 
And then this is actually a pocket. I just haven't put anything in it. Over here um, is some mushrooms from the Graphics Fairy. And um, this is another one of those napkins I collaged on. And then this is a little antique um, Arm & Hammer card. You probably got these when you bought the product. And then I just put a little crepe paper ruffle for a pocket. This is an antique document, part of one. This is more graphics fairy here and here. And then this is, um, <laughs> I don't know what to call this, but I didn't make this either, but I thought it would go well. It's a bunch of uh, bits and pieces that have all been sewn together and I made it into a pocket. And this is a, a sunflower from my garden. And then these are the little, um, they're called ATC cards. And there's just several, I wax them and back them with um, some foxing paper that looks like with foxing. And you can journal on all of these. So they just tie together and go back in there, which I will do later. And this is a uh, fabric pocket. And then inside is, um, this is an antique card with a bird and a, um, an antique letter, French letter. And it's all um, tucked in. I won't take it out. I'll let that, I'll put that back. And this is handmade paper. Got a bunch of lots of fibers in it. More of the same. I don't know if you can see this, but it's actually embossed. I don't know if you can tell. With pine tree, um, part of the pine tree. More graphics, scary. More handmade paper. In the center of this signature. I've used, um, this was some paper I painted. It was like a paper bag that was crumpled up and then I painted it. And I've had it forever, but I paint, so I painted it a long time ago. I added these butterflies from one of the butterfly bundles. And two more little Arm & Hammer cards with birds. This one has a description, I think, of the bird on the back. And then some, some rope trim with leaves. Twine trim, twine trim, that's hard to say, with leaves. And this is part of an old Valentine that just didn't hold together. It just unclips. More of that um, fabric-y, um, thread pocket. It's just a skinny pocket. And we're stuck here. There we go. And I just, this was actually a Tim Holtz card. And then it's just backed like so. The butterfly. More of that embossing. The pine tree and the skeleton leaf. And it's embossed here as well. I think maybe you can, I don't know if you can see that any better. The graphics fairy, I don't remember which bundle this is from. And the rest of that um, document. And then on this page, um, this is obviously from from one of the bundles, I don't know which one offhand that I named. And this fellow looked rather outdoorsy, so I thought I had to include him. This is an original photograph. And this is an original little trade card with the butterflies and the little fairy. And graphics fairy again, butterfly. Or that gorgeous, um, marble paper. And then uh, this is, I embossed this as well with um, a leafy pattern. 
and added this graphics fairy bird. Line up the page. And this is printed on an eco um, printing that was printed on vellum. And I've had that for quite some time. This is wonderful, kind of woodsy, barky looking handmade paper. And then over here we have a little squirrel and mushroom from the Graphics Fairy. And then, I don't know what you'd call this, but I made it into a pocket. And I thought that was very autumn-y with the brownies. It's an old card and a treated napkin. And then this is an oak leaf, um, scrub oak leaf, that I've had in my box of... Um, nature things and I just added a little paint for color to it. Another treated napkin. Graphics fairy. I made this into a pocket. I can get it out. There we go. And this is a uh, an antique card, scrapbook card with um, a goldfinch on it. This is a piece of Japanese paper. And then I made a pocket over here, a tuck, with this Graphics Fairy um, maple leaf. I put a little, uh, added some paint behind. This is Another flower that I um, stitched around, and laminated and stitched around. Another wonderful bird. And then there's just a piece of bark down here that I added. Over here we have a calling card that comes out of there. I love the colors. So I decided to tuck that behind this flower and then over here is uh, just a swatch I made with some autumny colors, and then I just painted a little bird and added this stencil using the colors from this. So this paper, actually, you can paint on it. It doesn't bleed. It's quite nice. I didn't know what to expect. This room over here. Another eco paper, some old music, an old another old document with gorgeous calligraphy. It's from the graphics theory. And another collaged um, bit of napkin. And this is from an old French um, missile. And then on this with this old document, I made it the centerpiece and folded it up to make pockets and added a couple of wax seals. And then I made these um, journaling cards. So there's that. Let me just slip right in there. The rest of that French missile. And this is an old card I just clipped in from a scrapbook. Image, print, rest of that. And then I just added a little B and um, one of these optical lenses, which is probably glaring right now in the light, to this page. And then I did some more watercolor over here and added the autumn leaves. And this is just a little patchwork pocket that I made with a little butterfly. And there's that gentleman again, same fellow. I don't know where he was. Notting Hill in England. I just thought he kind of went well with this whole look of this journal. <laughs> Lovely Italian marble paper. 
And then I used a piece of burlap uh, ribbon to make this pocket and some, um, I can't think what you call that. It's gauzy. <laughs> I can't think what you call it. And then I added a, a feather that I had. And then there's a little another antique card with a beautiful bird. And then this was um, a gift with something I purchased from a friend, Dodie. I think it was you, Dodie Williams. <clears throat> Another napkin. This is just printed on a tracing paper, script from one of the bundles. Or handmade paper. Another treat of napkin. And I know this is from the Forest Folk um, bundle. I just couldn't resist putting that in there. This was a greeting card. More music. <clears throat> a little more collage. And over here. I made a pocket from this, um, some kind of, it's some kind of ribbon, <laughs> although it doesn't look like ribbon, but um, that's what I believe it is, and I just added, this was collaged, I collaged, collaged this on, and then added the ribbon and the leaves, and then I made this journaling card, which has a little tuck here, another one of those, it's an upside down, um, <laughs> little cards. Not sure where it's... Oh, it is some sort of arm and hammer. It is arm and hammer. So that, made that with that little pocket. You can journal on the back. And it just slips. Slips in here very carefully because of the way it's made. This is lovely Japanese paper. A leaf from my garden, probably from last fall. And this is a piece of rice paper. And um, this is from a French book. And then this is um, embossed with a tree pattern, bark tree pattern. I don't know if you can see it, if the camera is picking it up or not. And then I made a pocket over here with a piece of that embossed um, pine tree and then added oh, I can't I think of what this is called I am just totally blanking anyway the pussy willow and then I added these old cards they're all antique I thought that was really kind of fitting to go in here odd it's an advertisement for seeds corn seeds obviously and this another napkin here with napkin that I made into a pocket. I actually made that in a pocket, and there's a um, a card with the day lily. More of that paper that I used on the end papers. And traded napkin. And my wonderful friend the owl. This is just clipped on. So that's him. And it's embossed as well with that pine tree. You can see I was enthralled with that. And then this is an old um, receipt from 1890. Mm, I'm not sure if that's an eight or a five. <laughs> And it's French, but I thought it was lovely. So those are both clipped onto this. And you can journal here. You can paint on it. Or whatever you choose. A Japanese paper. And this is handmade paper with inclusions. And then there's a pocket here with lovely mushroom and a calling card. 
And then there's the center. And there's another one of those feathers that I made. With a wonderful graphics fairy bird. And then over here, it's another pocket with a gorgeous peach, which is antique. And another gorgeous calling card. And then this is just clipped in. Here's no more of that paper that you can either journal on or um, paint on. This is an 1873 receipt. Tobacco, tobacco, tobacconists. Gosh, tongue twisted. And this is just a remnant. That's some pretty writing. It just clips in there. Beautiful graphics fairy. There's another flower from my garden. And this is a little side pocket. If you you could hide something in there if it wasn't sticking out like this is, and this is an old French. A letter or receipt. I just got a neat sticker on the back. Oh, that rice paper is just gorgeous. And this is paper with inclusions that oh, that one wants to come out. And Japanese paper. music and the end with things from the forest that's also from forest folk and then this is just collaged on so that is it as I said very chunky it took me a bit to get through there <laughs> and this is from the graphics fairy I love this dragonfly and I just made a little bookmark from one of their um, remnant of one of the images and added some faux gold leaf and then there's um, a lovely feather over here and a flower and stitched around so that can be used as a bookmark so i think i've covered everything the bundles uh, that i used will be listed at the end of the blog and um I just want to express my appreciation to the Graphics Fairy for allowing me to be on their team. I've been having a great time doing that, and I appreciate the free membership that I'm getting with this. So um, thank you, everyone, again. I really appreciate you taking the time to watch, and I hope you enjoyed this, and I'll see you soon. Bye.